Hi everyone. Um, I wanted to take this time to go ahead and do a video in regards to my self watering pole. I used to sell these, but they're just so tedious. So I'm just going to go ahead and do a video and you guys can do it yourself. Okay. Oh, we need a PVC pipe and I use a half inch or three quarter inch, depending on how large the plant is and how much support it needs. For the most part, I use the half inch. What we want to do is go ahead and cut the PVC pipe to the size that you need it. And then we start drilling holes. From the bottom, we want to go ahead and leave a space about three to four inches because this part is going to go into the soil and we don't want it to disturb our watering schedule. And then we go ahead and start drilling holes, alternating all the way around and all the way to the top. So this is the top and this is the bottom. Then what we want to do is this is wet sphagnum moss. We want to go ahead and stuff the pole with the wet sphagnum moss. The purpose of this is so when you are water pouring water into the PVC pipe, the sphagnum moss will slow down the water, allowing the water to seep out of the holes so it can water the sphagnum moss on the outside. I tried making it without the sphagnum moss the first time around and the water just went all the way down. Good thing though is like you can always stuff the sphagnum moss in later. Um, I start off from stuffing from the top and then I just use a long stick and push it all the way to the bottom hole. We continue to do this until it reaches about this height. And we want to only stuff it to this height because when you're pouring the water in, if the sphagnum moss was up to here, the water will just overflow and come out. But then allowing the water uh, to set up to here, you're not just like, oh, okay, it's, it's falling out. You can pour at least a good amount and then it'll go through. What I actually do is I put a funnel on the top, fill up the funnel and then just let it slow drip or slow flow into these, um, Muscle. And then I refill one as I'm watering the other plants. It's actually pretty fast. And we don't want to compact the sphagnum moss in here because if you're going to compact it, then um, it's just going to get very tight in here and the water is not going to seep through as well. And it's going to just overflow on the outside. Okay, so the pole stops right here. So I know the sphagnum moss is up to here. I need to refill and I need to fill it up. Just a few more. We can go ahead and cap it on the bottom, make sure it's tight. There we go. Set this aside. Now what we need is bird net. And you can find this at like any Lowe's or Home Depot, Amazon, whatever. Basically it's net that you drape over whatever tree, bush, just so the birds don't eat the fruits. It's cheap, economical and you end up with a buttload of it. So we want to go ahead and spread it out. See? Okay, and then I like to double it just so this sphagnum moss has more structure or barrier so it doesn't fall out. And we want to 
go ahead and unravel as much as we need for maybe one or two rolls or one and a little over one. Um, so what I'm going to do is this is the bottom. I will measure it. And I cut over the wanted length just because this type of bird netting shrinks after I cut it. So you can always trim it off the axis. lay the moss on here and just a thin layer of moss. And I like to go a little over the last um, pole, just so when um, the pole is in the ground, if there's sphagnum moss underneath the ground, the roots can grip onto the sphagnum moss and gravitate more towards the pole. Okay, so this is what we have. Just a thin layer. And then I'm going to go ahead and set it. Actually, I'm going to go ahead and turn it this way. I'm going to set this right on top of it. And then I'm going to start rolling it. Take each end, like rolling an egg roll or a burrito. Okay, roll it and then once you make the first round, then you can tuck underneath. And then I like to leave extra so I can wrap it, keep rolling it and secure it. Okay, so this is what you have right now. And to secure this, I use fishing wire. Where are you? There we go. So you make a loop. And then I just cut off estimated length. There you go. And here's the loop side. So what I'm going to do is like this and then pull the rest out. There we go. And then I like to go around it just a couple more times. And then now I'm going to go ahead and just Keep on turning the pole and dragging the fishing line up to secure the moss pole. Well, the moss onto the pole. Now we're getting to the top. 
And I like to leave some space at the top for the cap, but also just in case you want to um, add an extender, you want to be room. Okay, then I cross back down so we can secure it more. Now to tie it. This is the, I know that's probably an easier way, but you can do it however way you want. Um, oh no, this time I don't have enough. All right, so we can go ahead and trim the bottom, get the extra netting off. We're almost done, you guys. There we go. Trim, trim, there we go. And then right on the top too, we can go ahead and trim that off. Okay. So we want the bottom cap to be tight, so we don't want any water leaking down. But then the top part, the top cap, you want it to be loose. The only purpose of the cap is to keep the uh, sphagnum moss on the inside wet. So how do you use this? You basically pop this into the ground, right here or so, and then you tie your plant onto the moss pole. And it's self-watering because um, every, it, for me, it stays wet for 24 hours inside my house. I would pop the top off every morning and pour water in and the water will go down and seep out and moisten the exterior of the pole. And it makes my plants really happy. The roots grow onto it, hold onto it and grow. And once it latches onto the moss pole, you want to direct it down back to the ground. So by doing that, each node will be fully rooted. So when you are ready to propagate, you can just chop, 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 chop without even removing the plant from the pot. And uh, once you do that though, it will activate, each node will be activated and a plant will grow here, a new plant will grow here, another new plant will grow here. And when you are ready to sell it, then you can uproot it and um, sell it. All right, thank you.